Army of the Dead is the latest zombie movie from Zack Snyder, premiering on Netflix. Here it is straight up, guys. If you are a fan of Zack Snyder or zombie movies, you will no doubt want to check this movie out. Based on that, I'm going to be talking about the look of the film, the cast, and the story. You're watching Mirror Domains, and this is indeed a movie review for Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is directed by Zack Snyder and stars Dave Bautista, Ella Purnell, Omari Hardwick, Hiroyuki Sanada, and Nora Arnazadar. Army of the Dead tells the tale of a zombie invasion over the city of Las Vegas, and a group of mercenaries led by Dave Bautista are assembled to go into a casino and rob the safe to make sure their lives will all come out better on the other end. This is not a super serious zombie movie, as it does have some levity to it, as you realize once each team member is recruited for the heist, and they each get a smaller piece of the pie. The first thing that stood out to me was the cinematography, the way that it looked. It had that style where the focus is, the focus of the background is blurry, but something in the foreground is like really sharp. And it's used on stuff like cars and pool tables while people out of focus are talking in the background. That, that style, uh, Zack Snyder, I think he was going for that, but that could rub people the wrong way. I think it, it may, it may be like, why is it like that? But you get used to it after a while. The, the problem with it though, is that with that style of cinematography, it, it, it loses its sense of scope. Uh, you can't get the scale of anything because it's all out of focus and it's all about what's in focus. And that's intentional, I believe. Uh, it all made it feel dreamy and I think that's what Snyder was going for. Uh, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below if you saw this movie. But let's talk about the cast. The cast had a few good standouts. They did a really good job of establishing Dave Bautista's role. His acting was good. And you can tell that uh, he's he was going to be a standout in this movie, and he is for sure. David Batista is an actor who's building this nice resume of work that he's uh, making for himself, and he's someone that you will want to keep an eye on for sure, uh, definitely. Uh, some of the other minor characters, like Omari Hardwick, really stood out. He had some really cool action sequences, and I really liked uh, Nora Arnazadar as the blonde badass character. How do I say this? I was smitten. <laughs> but hey, here's the thing about the cast. I, can, I can't tell you any of their names. There, there are uh, character types. That's pretty much what they are. They're, they're the types of characters that you would see in a heist movie and in a zombie movie. Um, Dave Bautista's Scott Ward had some development with the daughter, but the story was sort of sidelined much of it because of the, uh, of the zombie stuff. And at times it did feel a little bit awkward, maybe a little bit forced, some would say, but I, I liked it. The story, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, guys. As I said, it's, uh, it's a bank heist with a zombie movie as its backdrop. Uh, I have to reiterate though, if you're a Zack Snyder fan, you'll, you'll want to see this movie. If you like zombies uh, in zombie movies, you will want to see this movie. It does try to do a couple of different things with the zombie lore uh, that you may find fascinating. But I'm going to be brutally honest here, guys. There are parts of it that feel, well, it does feel like it's sort of made for TV. And while some people, most of us, will be watching it on Netflix, some people are seeing it in the theaters. So what am I talking about here? I'm talking about acting choices. Choices I feel that are made not by the actor, but by the director. The actors are actually fairly good, <laughs> but it's the dialogue. It's uh, the delivery of that dialogue at times that makes it feel made for TV. Talking about the director, cinematography obviously falls on the director because uh, Snyder this time through was his own DOP, director of photography on this one. Uh, and that's why you get that focus stuff. So that's, that's, that's why. And pacing, 
Pacing is an issue in this movie. It's too long. Uh, if this was a tight hour and 45 minutes, maybe two, it would move along quicker and some of the payoffs would have a little bit more impact. And uh, it would have that snappiness to it, like, uh, like Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> but at two and a half hours, it's long. So expect to feel that length of the film at times. All that being said, uh, I didn't hate this movie. Uh, Snyder has the eye. And there are some very comic book like imagery uh, scenes in here going on. There's there's enough content here that uh, is enjoyable uh, that people will like, but perhaps uh, maybe just a bit too much. Uh, and when you see it, you'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean. But there, there are some moments and character moments that I really liked. And I will say, based on that, that yeah, you should check this out. Uh, when you think of all the great zombie movies, all the all greatest of all time, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, both versions, both versions are great. Uh, 28 Days Later, Train to Busan are, are, are legendary. But uh, this movie, Army of the Dead, it doesn't rank with them. It doesn't come close. Uh, but there is value there. There is value. It's not something that you come out of the theater or after and you feel like oh i want to watch that again right away yeah that wasn't there for me uh for me it, it, the running time is this movie's greatest problem i give army of the dead seven out of ten that's a pretty good score for a movie that i have all these problems with yeah it has some style to it i think you'll want to check it out so are you going to see this movie let me know in the comments below. Uh, you're watching Mirror Domains, your place for entertainment headlines.